Welcome to Wisdom for the Day, a thought-provoking trek through the book of Proverbs, where timeless wisdom awaits. Join us as we unlock the secrets of Proverbs and transform our minds towards embracing true and godly wisdom. Each day, we'll reflect on a different proverb, in order, unraveling its layers of insight and practical application. Get ready to be inspired, challenged, and empowered to live a life of purpose and righteousness. Wisdom for your day starts now. Today is day 174. We're in the 15th chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 17 and 18, from the New Living Translation. A bowl of vegetables with someone you love is better than steak with someone you hate. A hot-tempered person starts fights. A cool-tempered person stops them. In verse 17, many people want the best meat instead of a few vegetables. But love is better than hate. We want to eat in a place where people love us, and sometimes it's better to be rich than to be poor. Did you catch that? I said it backwards. Sometimes it's better to be poor than to be rich. Right. Some things matter more than money or wealth. Love matters more than wealth. Especially the love of God matters more than money. This is why the poor man in verse 16 has a good life. In verse 18, we should be patient. A patient man can help even enemies become friends. And this may take many years, but a patient person can often achieve success in the end. But sometimes it takes many years to help someone to trust God. This might be difficult if at first the person hates God, but we need to be patient. We should show God's love to that person whenever we get an opportunity. Now, you know, going back, that first proverb really isn't about eating healthy. These days, herbs are seen as much healthier than rich veal. But back when Proverbs was written, the tastiest meal you could have was a fattened calf. And as far as I'm concerned, it's still the tastiest meal. The meaning of the proverb is that it's better to have a simple meal with people who love each other than a fancy meal with people who don't get along. Now that I agree with. In verse 18, the second verse just reminds us that a gentle answer can calm anger and harsh words can cause arguments. That's a proverb I wish I'd have known 30 years ago. So let me ask you, Do you sit down and enjoy meals with friends very often? Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow with more of Solomon's wise teachings. For free Wisdom of the Day merch, head to buymeacoffee.com forward slash renewed mindsets and consider becoming a community member. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. The co-producer and spiritual advisor is Kimmy Shirley. Intro music by Weston McCurry. If you like this show, do me a favor and tell someone about it. Share it with them. I'd really appreciate it. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya. Hello. Do you ever feel defeated as a Christian in the confusing times we live in today? This is where God's Loving Sacrifice podcast comes in. We do Bible studies to help you strengthen your walk with the Lord in today's crazy world. We also encourage you to share the gospel and the love of Christ with this world in need. John 3.16 tells us about God's loving sacrifice, and we use the Word of God to help you find a fresh perspective on issues like forgiveness, love, obedience, mercy, and reconciliation. Join us as we delve into the true essence of faith in God and our call to go into the world and preach the gospel. So listen at www.godslovingsacrifice.com.